Today in Drive Labs, we're talking about our localization software that uses data from sensors like cameras, radar, LIDAR, or a fusion of these to localize or place the Ego car on a map. This clip shows single camera localization to a high definition map. On the right, we see the bird's eye view of the 3D map and the Ego car localized to it. The map has several different types of features or landmarks. Lane boundaries are shown in green, road boundaries in dark blue, and the center of the Ego lane in magenta. Horizontal intersection lines are in yellow, while vertical yellow lines denote poles, and yellow rectangles are traffic signs and traffic lights. After the Ego car is localized to the map, we can project the 3D map into 2D camera image space and generate the video on the left. If the 2D map projection matches with what the camera sees in the real world, this means that the map is correct and that localization to that map is accurate. Here our localization is running in the second longest road tunnel in the world, which has no GPS signal. Nevertheless, we maintain accurate lateral and longitudinal localization using just a single front-facing camera, mass market inertial sensors, and the vehicle's wheel tick data. In this clip, we are seeing results from camera localization using both the front and rear facing cameras. We note that if sun glare reduces front camera performance, we can use the rear camera to maintain localization accuracy. This clip shows localization to a 3D map that has camera, radar, and LIDAR layers. In this map, shown on the right, the concentric circles around the Eagle car represent the live LIDAR scan data, while the blue dots are live radar scans. We fully localize the Eagle car to each individual map layer, and we also fuse the individual per sensor localization results together. The fusion enables us to generate localization confidence metrics based on agreement and disagreement analysis. In the NVIDIA Drive Software 10.0 release, we have opened up our camera-based localization API to help enable this capability on consumer vehicles.